Well, it's a beautiful day here in Arizona, and today we're gonna drive some Ram trucks. The reason why I'm gonna show you new trucks is because the new Ram 1500 is all new, but I have a lot of things to show you regarding the updates. So let's head inside this barn. And I'll show you a few of the new things. So we have a total frame and power plant set up here. We have the Rebel, we have the Limited, we have the Bighorn, and then we have the Black Edition. What I want to do though is go over these with you real quick. So one thing I want you to keep in mind is the term 4x4. Obviously that's for off-road, but I want you to think of it in a different way. Let me take my shades off. So the trucks are now four inches longer and the cab, this section, is also four inches longer between the wheels. So we have a lot more space in the vehicle and it's also much lighter. So there's a 225 pound weight reduction on these vehicles and I'll kind of show you now where that comes from. The first notable one is here in the back. These D-shaped harnesses here for the bed are one solid form piece. They're not two different welded pieces put together like sticks. It's one solid unit. And that shaved nine pounds off the truck. There's also weight reduction in other places. Checking this out here, they actually saved 10 pounds from the rear axle and they reduced 120 pounds from that frame. The rest of the weight reduction is coming from the body itself with lots of use of high strength steel. Now let's talk about how this thing moves through the air. I want you to keep in mind 357 and that's not the magnum, that's the drag coefficient. These trucks have way cool, really cool ways to play with the air. So they have this dove tail spoiler up top, which improves the drag. And then they have on the non air suspension models, they have front air dams that come down below the front of the truck. It's probably going to be this one here. Over here we have air dams which will deploy underneath. And those air dams are actually built with clutches. So if you actually hit anything on the road above 35 miles an hour, they just basically free up into the body again. And then when you reset your speed, those will deploy back down again. Just little tricks like that are everywhere on this truck. Oh yeah, we'll talk about design. <laughs> so you'll see this here is called the belt line. And what they've done is they've leveled this belt line with the bed, but they've also raised the belt line on this truck. And that actually improves the cargo capacity inside. You see how nice and deep the bed is now. So let's go outside and drive one. Actually, before I drive, let's talk about these tail lights because the tail lights actually have integrated blind spot sensors. So if you look here on this big horn, for instance, this is the blind spot sensor. Now, the cool thing about those is when you do hook up a trailer, those blind spot sensors will also account for the distance of the trailer up to 39 feet. So if you put a big trailer on there, you turn your signal on. If someone's over here in the way of your trailer, the blind spot sensor will see that and account for that distance of the trailer in the blind spot. Something else to note is that when Ram made their new truck, they wanted to be the most luxurious truck ever. So here's the Limited. The Limited is their top of the line. And it has, just like all the other Rams, a completely new interior. Of course, in this one, it's kind of dark in here, but it does have that 12-inch screen, which you've all seen a lot of. But it also has a 900-watt Harman Kardon stereo. On the Limited, you get this speaker grill design. On other trims, with the Harman Kardon stereo, it'll look different, but this is Limited. You can now open the tailgate from your key fob, and there's also a button inside the cab where you can open the tailgate. But if your tailgate is down, you will now get a warning in the instrument cluster. So as you're driving along, it will tell you the tailgate's open, just in case you forgot. All right, so I have many, many more notes to go over with you, but I think it's enough 
chat and it's time to actually get out here into the blazing Arizona sun. <laughs> Let me get my shades on. And now we can drive. Oh, let's drive. Let's drive a silver truck. But these are just the standard Hemi V8s. It's pretty much the only thing that's not new at this point, but everything else is new on these trucks. So for those who say, I wanna buy a new truck, this is the newest new truck you can get. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is what the key looks like. Oh yeah, that's some serious key right there. Which one is this for? That one right there. Okay, let's drive this one and be sure to say, hey, hey John, how you doing? Good. All right, you're the exterior designer, correct? Yep. All right, well, let's fire this puppy up. Come on in here. Remote key start. Oh yeah, get some V8 action. This is, this is not the fully loaded version, but we're gonna start off here with the big horn and we're gonna select drive. And we're ready to go. Ready, John? Yep, let's go. Let's hit the road. Well, in front of me is the old Ram truck. I don't know whose truck that is, but it doesn't matter because I'm in the brand new Ram 1500. This is the 2019 Bighorn. And what I can tell you right now is that the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 is right there in the sweet spot for this truck. And this one does not have the air suspension, but if you see, this interior is pretty much the interior you're gonna start with in the new Ram. So it has a great touch display, lots of redundant controls in here. Of course, we do have our traditional Ram gear selector knob. We have a really cool instrument panel, great gauges, and the ride is nice and quiet. It's a very solid feeling ride, even over those cattle guards. So that's the first truck I'm driving today, and I'll be moving on to other trim levels. I'm really excited to get into what the Texans drive most, which is the Lone Star, the Limited, and of course my favorite, the Laramie Longhorn. There it is, the Ram Limited. Looks really nice. I'm actually having lunch right now in the middle of nowhere. We even have horses. It's pretty windy out though, so I'm staying over on this side of the tent so that you can still hear me on camera. But I drove the Bighorn, which is the silver one over there, and that's a crew cab. But uh, there are other trucks I'm gonna choose. The Bighorn doesn't have the air suspension, but it has the active aero dam in the front. And I got 19.7-ish MPGs, and I drove uh, almost 100 miles on it. So now I'm going to switch to a different truck, hopefully the Limited or the Laramie Longhorn. And this is my favorite truck of all. And it's just amazing. Look at this thing. It's just a beast. Right now it's in lowered mode. The suspension's actually low. So it's an easy ingress, egress. Speaking of which, when you open the door, hidden boards. And they, of course, retreat doors are closed. Also notice how much these doors open on these new ramps. Look at that. That's practically 90 degrees. Inside the Laramie Longhorn you will see things like barnwood and each of those insignias are hand branded so not any of these Longhorns will be the same. They will have completely different wood treatment in each of them. But you'll notice all the leather in here. The leather trim, the stitching, it's all real leather and it's everywhere. This is one hell of a truck. It smells amazing in here. It's just like <sighs> leather. If you love leather, this is the truck to get. Now, of course, we have the traditional new 2019 Ram setup, but this, is, this screen here is really cool. It has a 12 inch screen that can be a split screen, which I'll show you later. But in addition to what that split screen can do, it has 360L by Sirius XM. 360L is basically customized radio, and it knows your trend, it knows what you're listening to, and you can create a profile, listening profile, and it will send you songs that you should listen to next. So it's a lot like other services out there that I'm not gonna mention, but pretty much it is the newest thing, and they're the only ones right now that have it. Something else that they only have is they have serious channels in the 700 range, 
I dare you to try that on any of your vehicles. <laughs> so they have uh, basically channels here in the 700s that are first in the Ram brand and they will be rolled out later to other manufacturers soon enough, but not right now. So check this out. I'm sitting here waiting for everyone to get in and you can go into apps and then you can go to controls. Notice this one, retract step. You can actually deploy and retract both side steps. So right now you'll see here it is retract, it is extended. And then I'm gonna hit that button. Power side steps retracted. They're gone. And if I've got the doors open here and I wanna deploy them again, I just hit deploy. You can hurt it. You see it. There they are. That's awesome. And of course we do have electronic parking brake and adjustable pedals for and aft and that's very handy. So, I mean, basically, if you were looking at like something like an E-Class Mercedes or a 5 Series BMW, that kind of money uh, entry level, you don't even get a V8, you don't get all wheel drive, but if you're gonna spend that money, at least in Texas, this is the logical solution. This is where you would start. Let me look at the, <laughs> look at the uh, detailing here on the dials. This is the 15th generation of the Ram truck, and I sat with the design guy in the other truck and this is basically this design is inspired by a carryover from the br which is the one from 1994 br standing for big rig they, they took what they made very well they took their award-winning platform and they elevated it to the next level so just when you thought they they couldn't get any better they did get better i mean look even the grab handles are leather all right so i'm here in the longhorn with lynn beckwith from CBS, CBS Automojo? Yeah, CBS oh. Sports. All right, and so we, we each had our own version of the Ram trucks. We both rode, we both rode in Bighorns. Bighorns, Bighorns. Yeah. And here we are in the Laramie Longhorn, and believe it or not, we are off-road. And it is the smoothest ride I've ever experienced off-road in a truck so far. This one obviously has the air suspension, but man, it's buttery. I like it a lot. And uh, I won't pressure Lynn for any response yet. Well, but. it's actually incredibly different than the big one. It's amazing what the seat comfort, the, the difference that the seat comfort makes. And it's also pretty impressive, even just the handling on the road. Even though I'm not driving it, you can tell that it's just handling every nuance of the bumpy dirt road. Yeah, it's, it's handling it. It's taking care of everything for us. And do you have a YouTube channel? soon soon to soon to come that car lady okay so i will let you guys know when when lynn starts launching some videos and, and i'll tell you guys you gotta subscribe because lynn is fantastic oh, it's been a pleasure you. we've had a lot of fun these last couple of days oh definitely yeah and ram has put on a show that you would not believe for us it's been uh, very impressive and i'm so glad they brought such a big variety of the yeah. entire lineup oh yeah and these are just the Hemi V8s. These aren't the e-torque V8s. I'm anxious to see what that add-on electric torque is going to do to these. Yeah, same here. Yeah. So we will continue with our journey and we will check in soon. So I'm now in the passenger seat of the Ram 1500 Laramie Longhorn. And I want to show you what I'm going to call the office. And what I mean by office, I mean this whole center console, which has 12 different configurations. It has uh, class C USB, so they're all fast charging USB ports in here. And we have a spot for our pen. We have a capability of three cell phones to be uh, lined up here, and that's uh, wireless charging, which can do two phones at a time. And then we have a huge bin down here. This bin can accommodate hats and all the stuff that you throw in there. Then we also have uh, cup holders. Move the camera that's in there. And the cup holders have their own folding bin because this is the Laramie Longhorn. We have barnwood. And if I lift this panel up, oops, I'm going to lift this up. We have a spot for our iPad. And we also have a charging port, which you'll notice little clever touches like this cable pass through. So you can have the cable and the lid shut while you're charging. And then if I go ahead and open this section, we have 
an Easter egg here. It looks some kind of design Easter egg for con uh, construction throwback. And then we have a bin here that's locked and we have our chain shoulder. Might be too dark to see. And then down here we have another bin which holds file folders and a 15 inch laptop and this slides fore and aft. So that's pretty much the office. And that's in all the uh, five seat configuration crew cabs. There's a six seat configuration where there's another center console built into the seat back if you fold it down. But this is the Laramie Longhorn and it's the only truck you should buy. <laughs> On the tech side, we have a great big map and the screen is very informative and I have plenty of controls here, just like a typical Uconnect system. But now I have a split, split screen capability so I can actually have music on one side and nav on the top and music on the bottom just like this so what we'll do here is we'll show the map we'll go ahead and go to nav and we'll go to you yeah. so i could get very used to this well here we are back at the boulders resort in arizona near scottsdale and I'm heading to dinner. So just to be sure, Ram paid for the trip and it has obviously no influence on my decisions. After driving the Ram 1500, I would say it is a completely new truck. So people who are looking for a new truck are definitely getting their new truck fill. So my whole point though is, and I haven't had one for the week yet, so it's kind of premature to say other things about it, but how do I put this? If you're gonna buy a Ram, do it for the air suspension because that is the whole reason why you should be driving one. It is phenomenal. There's no other way to describe it, but just based on my experiences here in the desert, it's a fantastic truck and when that E torque version comes out with a 48 volt mild hybrid system, that will be another truck to drive. Thanks for watching.